everybody. Happy... <laughs> I almost said happy Halloween. I'm watching these reviews on these bad horror movies because I wanted something to watch tonight and I just, I don't know. I got it stuck in my head. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you get some awesome discounted candy from the store tomorrow. Um, and instead of having our regular relearns, we're coming in with a speed paint of a drawing I did for Lindsay uh, for Valentine's Day this year. I had a different idea planned where I was going to design a character based out around candy hearts, but the recording accidentally got corrupted somehow. I'm still not sure what happened or how it happened or how I keep it from happening again, but I just, you know, decided to go ahead and record the drawing that I needed to get done anyways. Um, so here I'm drawing two characters from a dating game that me and Lindsay are working on called Rocky Road Racers. Hopefully we'll see some more of that in the future. Um, but I figured it would be fun to draw a cute little selfie with the two of them. So I got the rough sketches down and now I'm doing some cleaned up sketches. These two characters are Lollipip and Roxy. Um, in this game, it's very similar to, uh, what's it, what do they call it? Uh, the racing game, Sugar Rush. The racing game from Rocky, no, Rocky Road Racers. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, I can't say the words that I want to say. Wreck-It Ralph, there we go. It's very similar to the game from Wreck-It Ralph. It's a bunch of candy-themed people. Um, racing and having fun. Um, ours is set in a high school environment, as are most dating simulators, where they are all learning to be the best racers. And they are living candy, going about their day-to-day -day lives with some uh, hidden shenanigans going on underneath the surface level of the game. Um, so these two characters are obviously uh, Lollipop and then Rock Candy. And they are uh, two of our favorite characters. <laughs> they, When they were originally designed, they were very much self-inserts. And since then have kind of very much become their own characters. And it was very fun to get to draw them again. I don't draw anybody from Rocky Road Racers nearly enough. But as we develop this game more and more, I'm getting to draw them more and more, so... Heading in with that line art. For this, I wanted the line art to be a lot thicker than I normally messed with, just to give it an extra cartoony vibe. Which is always fun to mess with. I like when I get to make things a bit more silly than I normally do. Also, Lollipip's expression was so much fun to work with. I need to start doing more exaggerated expressions, because it's always so much fun to mess with. And Roxy's leather coat and then we are finally going in and we're gonna throw down some not quite sloppy colors since the color scheme for these guys have already been pretty figured out I just go ahead and start heading right on in with the clean colors Roxy's definitely had one of the most like diverse character design, I guess is the best way to put it. She's changed so much from the very beginning and has gone through so many different iterations. Um, just trying to figure out what exactly we wanted for this character. We know we wanted somebody very hardcore, a little silly, but mostly kind of standoffish, uh, who very, cared very deeply for the people around her, but didn't really warm up to new folks all that easily. And just kind of watching how that character grew and changed throughout the years has always been real fun. But it also means, because I don't draw them very frequently, every time I draw her, she looks completely different. <laughs> Heading in with Lollipip. One of my favorite things about Lollipip is just all the different swirls in her design. It's always very fun to mess with. Lollipop's design hasn't changed at all through the years, but her personality has. Whereas Roxy has been the kind of character who, um, her general personality has stayed the same, um, but her appearance has shifted drastically throughout the years. Lollipop has been the complete opposite, where at the start she was 
kind of this silly, um, not very intelligent creature who couldn't really communicate, couldn't really do much of anything, to now she is this still very silly in nature, but a very competent, very terrifying at times creature who's incredibly defensive of her friends and also maybe a serial killer. And then for this, in order to go with that cartoony feeling just a little bit more, I decided to go back and do uh, my art how I used to and coloring in the line art, which is something that I don't do very frequently just because of how much time it takes, but it's always fun to break it out on occasion. And I think it definitely added to the whole picture a bunch. I think the one thing that's always been consistent about Roxy's design though, is she's always had like a greenish teal hair color. I think that's one of my favorite aspects. Because they are living candy, her hair is most definitely watermelon flavored. And then heading in with that shading after doing those nice little blushies. And then finishing up that shading. Before adding just a couple little highlights on the hair. And then adding a fun little caption on their Polaroid and doing a nice simple little background. And here we are going to see that finished picture. I'm super happy with it. I think it turned out really cute and I hope Lindsay likes it. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. Um, whether you have a significant other or if you're celebrating on your own, love somebody, love yourself, love the people around you, and eat some candy, man. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until I see you again, I hope you have a great holiday. I hope you make some great art, and I hope you eat some great food. Bye bye I love you!